One of the central arguments of the God delusion, Richard Dawkins' book, is the famous schoolboy argument. If we believe in a creator, we'll have to ask who created the creator. Now, the first point I would make about that is this. If you ask the question, who created God? You are thinking of created gods. Now, the ancient world knew all about created gods. Actually, we call them idols. And people don't believe in them usually nowadays. So if Richard Dawkins really thinks that what he's demolishing is belief in created gods, then good for him. But he could have written a far shorter book because millions of us don't need any convincing that created gods are a delusion. So that's the first point. And I believe it's quite a serious point, actually, because if he thinks that the God means you must be able to say who created God, then he does fall foul of that criticism. Now, you can only ask the question, coming at it from another perspective, if you cannot conceive of an eternal God. Christianity, of course, does not believe in a created God. It believes in God who is eternal and is the creator of everything else. In other words, God is uncreated. So what I'm claiming to use mathematical language is that the category of the uncreated is not empty. Now, it could be that Richard Dawkins has difficulty with the notion of the uncreated, although, and I'd like to know the answer to this, I don't know the answer to this, does he believe that matter and energy have existed forever? Because if he does, as many people do who are atheists, then they do believe in something eternal. So the problem must be that they can believe in something eternal, but they don't believe in an eternal person, an eternal God. But where's the logical difficulty if you admit that something eternal admits, exists, then postulating that an eternal person exists? On the other hand, if they believe that matter and energy are finite, we can ask them their own question, who created that? And who created whatever created that? And so on. You have an infinite regress unless you can see that the buck must stop somewhere. And of course, the Christian doctrine is that God existed eternally. So that by definition, the, the creation buck, so to speak, stops there. So I really think that in a way, the game is given away by asking that question. Dawkins is thinking of created gods, which are a delusion.